put your bananas away because we are making strawberry bread. It's pink, it's super moist, and this recipe is gluten-free. I guarantee you this bread is going to replace banana bread for you. Let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So this bread has flecks of chopped strawberry throughout it, which gives it that strawberry flavor. And we need one cup, making sure the pieces are pretty small and even. Add one heaping tablespoon of gluten-free flour. Toss to coat the strawberries, and this is going to help prevent them from sinking to the bottom of your cake. Strawberries are coated, so now let's make the batter. We're going to start with our dry ingredients. First thing is one cup of a one-to-one -one gluten-free flour. You need the one-to-one. -to, -one. to properly measure flour, you want to first aerate it so that you don't have a dense cake. And then you wanna spoon it into your measuring cup and kind of let it fall in there. And then take the back of your knife and push the flour and then level it off. There you go. One cup of aerated one-to-one -one gluten free flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda. We're also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder for additional lift. I'm going to add two teaspoons of cream of tartar. We're just gonna add a pinch of salt. You wanna whisk your dry ingredients pretty well so that your bread rises evenly. On to the wet ingredients. Room temperature butter, three quarters of a cup of just regular white sugar. There's something so satisfying about using your knife to level off dry ingredients. We are going to beat the butter and sugar together to incorporate air, which gives our cake a light and fluffy structure. I'm just gonna continue beating this by hand and I'll see you when I'm done. Do you see this? It is light and fluffy. We're gonna add one egg half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we beat it again. Now we'll add a half a cup of sour cream, and we wanna fold this gently so that we don't get rid of any of the air that we beat into the butter, sugar, and egg. When the sour cream is almost all the way combined, that's when we add in all of our dry ingredients. You can just dump them right in, and we'll continue folding. We keep it light and fluffy. Now we're adding our all natural food coloring. I start with pen drops. Oh yeah, look at that. So beautiful. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the bowl. No batter is left unmixed. Look at how beautiful. And now for our final ingredient, our chopped strawberries. All right, time to pour the batter into the loaf pan. Eight and a half by five and a half inches. Look at how beautiful. Take your rubber spatula and just smooth out the top so that it bakes nicely. And I like to decorate the top with some sliced strawberries. Strawberry bread is in the loaf pan. We'll put this in our preheated oven. Our strawberry bread is baked. Mine took an hour. And then I let it cool in the pan for about 20 minutes. Lift your bread up. You really should let this cool on a rack so that air can circulate underneath it, but I need to give myself a slice immediately. You can see the strawberries. It's pink. And now I need to try it. Mmm, this is so good. This is packed with strawberry flavor. Wow. This is my dinner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you make this recipe. Leave a comment if you do. Remember to subscribe to Bustle to get more Bustle Bites. Bye.